Well, freshman assist began um, when we started to realize that we had an increasing amount of students entering Gross Point North High School um, that were ill-equipped to navigate our educational context here. So we had students that were reading um, perhaps several grade levels below where they needed to be in ninth grade at Gross Point North. Um, there were a couple different things happening in our community at that point in time that also led us to have more students that were entering the ninth grade, entering Gross Point Public School System in ninth grade and had been a part of our system in grades, you know, in kindergarten up through eighth grade. So what we wanted to do though was create a process, a program, a system, whatever it might be to help support these students so that they could be successful here at North. Wow. So one day we were in a meeting, it was the former principal and I were in a meeting, I was there at the meeting as the English department co-chair and the principal at the time, Mr. Tim Bearden, he and I were sitting in this meeting, and, and, and um, it was a district-wide meeting, so there were a lot of people there, and there were experts in, uh, in, in students um, that might struggle. There were experts in differentiation. The people were talking very uh, theoretically and conceptually. There were flow charts, and there was data involved. And then in the corner, the principal and I were sitting, and um, I can remember grabbing a napkin and starting to sketch on the back of this napkin as the meeting's going on over here saying, what if we do this? So most students come to Gross Point North having a vision of what success looks like. But sometimes we have freshmen who come to Gross Point North and their only vision has been a lack of success. So what Freshman Assist does is it aims to give them the strategies and the skills and the tools necessary to reinvent themselves to see what success really looks like, to understand that they are capable to unlock from within them the things that are their talents to, um, as the teacher here says, to tap into their brilliance. We, we want them to experience success in new ways. So Freshman Assist is, is designed to give them um, that, that ability. So we strategically design their day to be with teachers who understand them as learners, uh, with other students who can challenge themselves to understand this group as learners too and also to be models for them of what it means to be successful at North. And so in that first year, that all-important freshman year, we seek to, to reinvent what it means to be successful for students, to give them the basic skills for reading, for literacy, uh, for math, uh, and really for dealing with the rigor of just being successful at school so that as they progress through the high school years, they're going to find more success than they may have originally imagined for themselves. Freshman assist students coming in are not the most confident students coming into high school. They've shown um, their um, eligibility for freshman assist based on scores in math and reading, and typically those kids are quite weak. And so um, coming into high school is a scary prospect. Um, they're dealing with more students, more classes, different teachers, more freedom. Um, it can be a scary place. So I think the freshman assist offered them um, a safe environment where they had uh, just a few kids in the classroom. They kept those classes pretty small. They get to know each other well, and they have been able to form relationships with a team of teachers who are truly dedicated to them. And now that you're sophomores, how do you feel freshmen, having freshmen assist last year helped you? It helped me by like now because it's like it gave me a little more confidence so I'm like oh I can do this because you guys was like you guys can do it you guys can do this it's not hard try just look at your notes and this and and now it helps me like the lessons you guys taught me I still use it and, and it actually helps me like ooh. Um, it made me feel like I have some older people that I want to make proud because they see when I was a freshman and it's like I want to make you guys proud too and then y'all here and stuff so when I see y'all like yep I gotta I gotta build my game so I can show them that they didn't that what they did didn't just go in one year and another. So it keeps you on your P's and Q's, that's how I feel. The primary focus of freshman assist has always been academic success of the students. We noticed the large achievement gap at North and we wanted to help correct that. So while the program does have many facets, including social and cultural aspects, the primary focus has always been to help the students be successful academically so that they can take that success then and then apply it to whatever they choose to do after high school, whether it be trade school, um, a career, or a four-year university. The first step that we took was making sure that the students were getting all of the focus that 
they needed from the teachers. And so we made the classes smaller. We decided to have the students travel together mm -hmm. um, because we wanted to be able to change and adapt our teaching strategies to that particular set of students so that those students are getting the focus that they need while not taking away from other students who may be mm -hmm. uh, closer to grade level and ready to move on to more mm -hmm. complex um, ideas and tasks. One of the major components of the Freshman Assist program is the social aspect between the mentors and the mentees. So between the juniors and seniors and the freshmen. In the beginning of the year, we assign one mentor for each mentee. And part of their assignments are going to be to interact with them socially. Right? Before they can even start to look up to these mentors as role models, like they need to develop a relationship with them. For instance, we do a shadow day um, in the second quarter in which the freshmen will shadow their single mentor for the entire day and they'll walk from their first hour through their seventh hour with them. They can then see through that like what a day in the life of a junior or a senior might be. Shadow day was pretty much when Gabby followed me around for uh, the entire day, my first through seventh hour. And it was really cool because um, she got to go to all my classes and I got to spend the entire day with her instead of just one hour. And I think it was kind of a nice experience for all the mentees because they could see um, the different level of difficulty in classes. Again, our purpose is trying to build a relationship between the freshman and an upperclassman so that they have someone in their life that they look up to, that they think of as a role model, that they can talk to about personal issues, about school issues, and hopefully like they'll learn to really respect this person enough to, to want to be better themselves. I always tell our mentors that even if you don't see the progress day by day, that you are making a difference, and over the course of the year, a lot can change. One of the most important things I feel makes this program run really smooth and just the way it works is the mentors. Our mentors go above and beyond anything we ever expect. I mean, we have returning mentors that are in the program for their second year. And there's just a handful of them, but no matter what we ask them to do, they always give 150% of their time. They come in in the evenings and help me decorate for breakfast meetings and they just go above and beyond and they're always there for extra hands if we need them or for great ideas or they share their concerns during our lunch meetings and we really so much appreciate every single thing they do every day for us. We couldn't do the program without them, honestly. I did not imagine when it started that Freshman Assist would be about assisting me. And I discovered that, that it does, that the same way every other role that teachers play oftentimes changes who they are. Freshman assist has done that too. So I found myself understanding people better, uh, becoming much more patient and resilient. Uh, I always thought that I was resilient as a teacher and patient, and people have oftentimes said, oh, you're really patient. And then I discovered through this class that I really wasn't. And they taught me how to be patient, how to do that, how to be that genuinely, uh, how to really care about somebody else who may think of the world completely different. Than, than I do, um, but also see the similarities between the two of us. Um, it's given me the insight too to understand when students' behaviors are not actually who they are, and when those behaviors actually stem from something else that's beyond our control. Um, I think before freshman assist, I really didn't understand that dynamic, but, but now I do. So I think it's better me as a teacher to deal with all levels of students, those who struggle most and those who are most successful. Um, and I think giving me a broader understanding and appreciation for learning. This is Freshman Assist. And this is what we do here!